Oops. As promised, I got a new scooter. I told you guys I would tell you exactly what's going on in this build for the day. That's what we're doing. Really? Somebody's alarm has to be going off right now. It's literally the worst timing. Thank you. I asked Envy for like one deck, a set of forks, and it looks like they sent me extra just to be safe. So thank you guys so much over at Envy. Shout out to Tony, Denny, everybody over there. Thank you. So with this little care package, I have two decks here as opposed to one. Again, thanks. If you guys don't already know, my decks come in 4.75 wide by 20.2 long. Um, I like smaller scooter decks, so uh, it's kind of just like my thing with an 83 degree head tube angle. Not super steep, but steep enough. Um, so. That's the deck. They also have the nylon brakes in there, so if you guys want to grab your deck, you guys know where to go, www.ringmore.com. As for grips, I did ask for darker colored grips. I've been riding the blue ones for a little while now, but um, I made sure to get some of these black and white swirl ones. I really, really like these ones, but I've never actually had the black and white. I've had the black and blue, so these should be a cool little addition. They sent me two sets of these, so thank you guys very much. I do go through grips kind of quickly, but not as quickly as some other riders, but quickly enough to where I need two. Why? Can somebody get a hold of their truck, please? Thank you. As for forks, I asked for the SOBB3s because this is the fork that I've ridden basically forever since I've been on Envy. Um, and this time, you guys can be really, really excited to know that I got the oil slick version yet again. I have not had oil slick on my scoop for a long time, and you guys have been telling me, please, Ray, please go back to the blue and oil slick looks that you've had previously. So I listened. So we got the oil slick SOBB3s in the IHC version. The bars that will be going over my IHC compression are the unions, of course, but this time I got the black unions. I have not had black unions in so freaking long. I've had the polish twice, and I don't really switch my bars all that often. Um, so I think I've had those bars on probably for like five months-ish, maybe less, but either way, I have not had black bars in a cool minute, and these are the flat black. I run my bars pretty much stock height, not pretty much stock height, I run them stock height, as tall as they come. So stop talking crap. My bars aren't short, they're as tall as they come. Now, the mystery bags, I have no idea what's in these. What is that? You! A headset? You open it. There you go, make it. Make the noise. Rawr. Rawr. Yeah, that's a little count, that's good. We are pretty much correct. We do have a bunch of bearings in here, and we also have a blue clamp as well as an oil slick clamp. I'm gonna be putting the oil slick clamp on my scoop because like I said, I want that oil slick look again. We have an ND headset right here. This is the oil slick headset. This will go nicely with my blue deck as well as the black bars and the oil slick headset, or the head, or the clamp. I'm really getting confused, okay? Listen, 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 listen closely. Everybody, shh, shh, What is that? Money. What? Headset. Bearings. Bearings, bearings, and headset. Go, go, go. There you go. Yeah. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, it's brakes. Yes. Ooh, Here, that's... Throw it, throw it, throw it. That's a whole lot of yes, brakes. Looks like Envy sent me a few of the fresh nylon brakes. Thank you guys very much. And we also have some spacers in here. So. A shoe. <laughs> oh! Envy, thank you for the brakes. Oh look, there's a black clamp. I missed that one. Thanks! If you can guess what this is, then... Wheels. I wasn't even done yet. I was gonna say I get to punch you in the face. <laughs> no. Forks. Set <Except> wheels. <laughs> look, Steve! No, come ah! on! You got it right! Looks like Emmy sent us some of the black on black Lambo wheels. Thank you guys so much for sending these. And it looks like we have one more set of wheels and these are the ones that I requested. Yeah. Get the bag out of here! I got one. James got broken. Thanks.
That was scary. We've got the 120 millimeter black on oil slick. I am so excited to get oil slick back on my scooter, which is kind of weird because every time I have oil slick on my scooter, I have it for like two or three rounds and I'm always like, I'm over it. All right, so that is all of our parts. A lot of you guys are probably wondering, Ray, where is your grip tape? I left it at my house. I, I had a lot. I told him not to send me any. My bad. So this build tonight will be with no grip tape whatsoever, but everything else will be built up, ready to go for the sesh for whenever my leg gets better. So, let's start the build. When I think about the way we used to be wow. When I think about the things it took from me I know that I am so much better Better When I look at what I've done Now that we're apart When I look at what I've won I've come so far I know I'm so much better off And baby you don't belong I could feel it in my bones There was something going on That shade of doubt Hanging around That old Cause darling there is nothing right When all you seem to do is lie Those days are gone God. This thing turned out unbelievably good. It actually surpassed my expectations. Now, this is why this scooter in particular surpassed my expectations. All of the other oil slick scooters that I've had in the past have had oil slick bars, like the, like the unions that I usually have, and I actually requested for the scooter were the oil slick, but they didn't have any. They only had the black and the polish. And I've been riding the polish for a while now, but with the black on there, as well as the black and white grips, it doesn't actually overkill the oil slick. That's one thing about oil slick, is that it's overdone so quickly and so easily, and I've been looking for a combination that I could do that could actually make it to where it's not overkill. And this is it. This is like my dream setup. This is it. This is all the colors, all the parts on here are the parts that I would always ride. Oh, I don't, I need to take this out. I don't actually even, I don't ride these. Now it's my dream build. I don't run those plates because I don't use them, so there's really no point for me to have them on there. The only thing that I need so far is grip tape, but I already know what grip tape I'm gonna put on there. I'm gonna put a sheet of vital grip tape on this thing to make it totally complete, but all in all, this thing is a beast. It's so freaking nice. For some reason, the wheels complement the fork, and I don't know why. Normally, oil slick kind of complements itself because it's so loud. I got the black union bars on there, like I said. I did cut the width on these ones a little bit smaller, actually. A lot of you guys in the comments are gonna be roasting me right now because of that. But I cut them smaller because I've been riding the same width for so long. Um, I was at 22 and a half for a long time, and I was just recently at 21. Um, so I decided to go down to 20 and a half and just, just see how it feels. I'm just kind of going all over the place with it because I like to experiment a little bit. But on the bottom of those black bars, we got the oyster clamp. Um, I don't run headset caps. I don't know why. I haven't done it for a little while. Um, so I just put the actual headset spacers on there instead. Kind of pushes everything down, locks it in. I like it. But I am running an Envy headset. This is the integrated one. Best headset I've ever ridden by far. I would love to get out there and actually test this thing out, but unfortunately I can't. I'm kind of coming over a, a really random and weird injury in the back of my left leg, um, which is tied to my back injury. So I got to wait it out, unfortunately, and I'm not good at this stuff, but I promised people I wouldn't ride, so I'm not going to ride. Bleh. But please go down in the comments and rate my scoot 1 to 100. I would love to hear what you guys think about this thing. And if you don't like it, let me know why. If you do like it, let me know why. What's your favorite part about the scooter? Is it the oil slick? Is it the deck? Um, is it the fact that I have no grip tape on? You could like that. Andrew Hag, if you're watching, much love. But I love it. I absolutely love it. Thank you to Envy Scooters for sending me all of these goodies. You guys are absolutely the best. Shout out to Tony for listening to me when I said that I needed a new scooter, which um, I kind of shouted him out in this video right here. 
So go check that video out if you haven't yet. Colson, if you're watching, hope you're doing good. Well, now that this is done, I've got a huge mess to clean. And to be 100% honest with you, I'm way better at building scooters than staying focused when it comes to cleaning things. So until next time, I got a lot to do. Later.